Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Ryan Day, the Ohio State Buckeyes, have been putting together what seems to be an extremely special class in 2025, landing another commitment. This one coming from four star running back Bo Jackson, a consensus top five running back in the country, consensus top five player from the state of Ohio. And you start looking at Bo Jackson and say, this kid's a box checker, and it's very rare to see running backs check all the boxes that you're really looking for at the high school level. When you look at running backs coming from the high school ranks, you normally get your spacey running backs who are about 180 pounds that can really operate in space, and then you get your bruising running backs. The guys that are 220 pounds get downhill. You look at Bo Jackson, at six foot, 205 pounds, he runs the ball extremely physically. That shouldn't come as a surprise to many. But he's also a guy that can give you that big play as well. And you start getting running backs that are comfortable working downhill between the tackles, but also give you that dynamic when the opportunity presents itself. They can also hit the big play. That's when you're talking about special running backs at the collegiate level. Bo Jackson and certainly falls under that category. Really excited to get into this one. You got to give Coach Lachlan his flowers here. I think Tony Alford did a lot of legwork with this recruitment, but I mean, Coach Lachlan taking this job late on in the process. The Ohio State running back recruiting efforts have not seemed to slow down in the slightest. Before we get into Bo Jackson, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it's going to be an extremely fun next couple of weeks and months. And for the Ohio State fans, I know many of you guys follow the recruiting trail extremely closely. It sounds like we're going to be talking about a lot of Ohio State commitments over the next couple of weeks and months. If you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. And without further ado, let's get into Bo Jackson. Again, I think you start with just a box checker, and then you look at the production at the high school level. His junior year ran for over 1,700 rushing yards, over 30 touchdowns, averaging just over 10 yards per carry. And anytime this kid gets the football in his hands, he's averaging a first down run, extremely impressive numbers from the high school ranks. You get into the film and again, what's most impressive with Bo Jackson is he displays, I mean, so many different qualities that you want in a running back. You get into the film one really, really good dealing with contact. Again, shouldn't come as a surprise at six foot two Oh five working through contact, working through traffic. And then when it's time, to kind of put the pedal to the metal and hit that big play. He also gives you that ability to make second level defenders miss and hit those explosive plays shows some extremely impressive ball skills, as well as a receiver, which is, I mean, for the people who follow the high school recruiting trail, you normally don't see young running backs at the high school ranks display that kind of ball skills. You're going to see that a couple of times on the film downhill running back. And this is a guy that is no nonsense. He's not dancing around in the backfield. He wants to get north and south. And again, when it's time to put the burners on in a straight line, it, safeties are not catching them, especially if they take bad angles. This is one of the more impressive reps that you're going to see. Like a nice little wheel route from Bo Jackson, tracking the ball exceptionally well. And you look at how Chip Kelly might want to run this offense, getting these running backs the ball in different ways, whether it's swing passes, wheel routes, screens, you got to have running backs that can operate as pass catchers. Another really impressive rep as well in terms of just the patience. And you don't see this a lot from young running backs. They normally just want to get going. You look at Bo Jackson here. This is probably the trait that you see young running backs struggle with the most when they get to the collegiate level. And can you be patient? Can you trust what's in front of you? Let this offensive lineman lead you through that hole. And then when it's time to start making people miss, you're safe. You take a bad angle. I mean, you're not catching a guy like Bo Jackson displays so many traits that you want at this running back position. I think Chip Kelly coming in to run this Ohio State offense, if you are a running back, you want to get involved in this Chip Kelly offense. Again, very, very fluid, really nice acceleration, clean ball catcher. I think this is a really big pickup for Ohio State. You take a look at what they're doing in 2025. I think it's time to kind of put the, uh, the alerts on in terms of can Ohio State potentially break the recruiting record. A, you look at what they're putting together. We saw Texas A&M a couple of years ago kind of break that record, have a really special class. You look at Ohio State, what they're putting together right now, the number two player in the country in quarterback Tavian St. Clair, who sounds like he's going to be making a push for that number one player in the country. You continue to scroll down the list. 
you have two cornerbacks that are the top two at their position and Devin Sanchez, Naheem offer two top 10 nationally ranked players. You continue to scroll down the list. Carter Lowe, a riser in the rankings. Trey, uh, Tarvo Alfred and TJ Allen, really, really good linebacker out of the state of Florida. And then you take a look at this number, and I think this is the number that I think a lot of Ohio State fans should be paying attention to, and that is 94.85. That is the average recruiting ranking that these Ohio State commits have in this 2023 class, and what or 2025 class, excuse me. And what that averages out to be, that's about a top 80 national prospect. And so to put this in terms, Ohio State has 12 commitments. The average recruiting ranking of those 12 commitments, it's top 80 in the country. That is a number that I we follow a lot of recruiting. We talk a lot of recruiting. We haven't seen a number that high in a very long time. And from what it sounds like, Ohio State's really just getting started in the months of June and July. I think we're expecting a lot more commitments for this Buckeyes program. We'll continue to break it down as they come in. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas again. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.